Hey everybody, this is Royce here with Gates 3 Designs and I'm back with another episode. Today I have this uh, pool that I'm actually going to add into a uh, residence that I'm working on um, just to show an above ground pool. Now this is typically, you'll see this a lot with most families. Um, everybody doesn't have like, you know, the built-in pool, which is cool. Most people have like above ground pools and sometimes they do go ahead and do like woodwork around it and everything and I'm going to do that with that but first I just wanted to show how Thea renders um, realistic water looks inside this pool um, so I'm going to go ahead and add some textures in here probably go ahead and add some uh, textures here and on the ladder also so let's go ahead and get started. Alright, first I'm going to go ahead and just do a render of what this looks like as is. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. Okay, now I would say that's a nice texture actually. Um, it's not a bad texture that was on here. This is something I downloaded from 3D Warehouse. That's not a bad texture. Uh, but let's see what it looks like if we add the renders texture. So we got that there. Let's go ahead and it's a group, so let's go in here. And we're gonna go to liquids. Um now you can use this pool water, but uh I want to use the realistic natural pool water. Let's try that out. Alright. Go ahead and get a rendering and see, compare. So, actually, I'm gonna take a screenshot of this to compare the two. Just do that there. All right, put that down there. Let's go ahead and render. Alright, now if you take a look at the profile, you can see the actual waves and the ripples, which is nice. Um, if you look at that one we had, let's see, but with this the render texture, it, it's actually a water texture and it gives you those waves and those ripples throughout. Um, and you'll see a variation of different colors here while it's rendering, but the final rendering will, will look totally different. Um, but you can start to see it here. Um, go ahead and stop this. If you stop it, it kind of clears up a bit. But if you let it render more, you'll be able to see. But um, and here it's just a flat surface. But when it actually goes through the rendering process, it starts to create those ripples and that natural water effect. Um, so I just wanted to show that real quick, showing the difference. Again, here is the without the Thea render. Um, got a blue here. Um, and you can play around with tint and, and sharpness or whatever for your final renderings or however you want to do it to uh, give it a certain color or anything. But I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you found it informative. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Thanks.